Hi, this is Ben Sullins, and I'm going to walk you through embedding Google News Feeds into your Tableau dashboards. I've just published a blog that has detailed steps on this, and some of them may be unfamiliar if you're not used to web servers and all the architectures needed to support something like this. So I'm going to go through step by step here and just walk you through how to do it. So the first step in embedding Google News into your Tableau dashboards is you need a web server. Now, if you've been working with Tableau for a while or you've been doing web development, this is a no-brainer for you. Uh, you can use something that's publicly hosted, like Bluehost or something like that. Or if you uh, are setting it up internally for your own company use, um, I recommend setting up a, a WAMP server. Uh, this is basically an open source uh, suite of tools that gives you a web server. I've installed this on my local Tableau server. And with this, what I've done is I've essentially created a separate web server that I can run web pages on. Um, so if I ever want to do anything really custom in Tableau, if I want to embed something that is very unique and Tableau doesn't give me the you know functionality I need with uh, HTML, JavaScript, and all the web technologies, I can use this and then just embed that web page object into Tableau. So to do this, uh, you go ahead here and you download it and you run the installer. It's very much like a Windows installer, so it's just a couple clicks. Um, and once, you're, once you've got that going, down in the bottom here, what you've got is actually this WAMP server thing, which what it does is uh, it gives you a full-blown web server with Apache, which is the web part, PHP, which is the backend uh, application logic, and MySQL, which is a database. Now, we only really need Apache in this case, but I want to go through this just in explaining that this is something that can really extend the functionality of Tableau for you and your company. So once you've got that downloaded and set up, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and go to downloading the code uh, to embed the actual Tableau news feed. So if you go to GitHub, um, under the link that I have posted on my blog, what you'll see is uh, this repository here, which basically has two files in it. It has this news.html. Um, that is everything you need. Uh, and then this nice little loading GIF, which is just so as the page loads, you get a little spinner. Um, you can click on this and take a look if you want. It basically includes all the JavaScript you need. Um, the styling, all the CSS, um, and then really there's not much to the page here because JavaScript does it all for you. So feel free to customize this as much as you want. That's the point of it. Um, and then once you've downloaded and set that up, I copy it to a local repository. So if you go to C, WAMP, www, that's where all the projects live. Um, in there I created one called News, and I just put those files in there. If this were a publicly hosted site like bensolens.com, um, I could just put this on a subdirectory uh, on my public web server. So basically you just need somewhere for this page to live. And then once you've got that, I jump back over to Firefox here and I take a look. So now I'm looking at my local host on a different port because that's the port that the WAMP server runs under. And I'm looking at that directory and what you can see are those files in here. If I click on my news.html file, there's my little GIF spinner, and it pulls up a default set of just the top news from the Google News Feed. Now if I want to customize this, I can type in Q equals, I'm going to say Firefox OS, and I can give it a parameter of num and say how many do you want to return, I'm going to say five. And there you go, now I've got five articles all coming in from Google News um, on Firefox OS. You know, I could change this. I wanted to say Tableau software, there you go. So the idea here is that you set this up uh, for your company and you can use it all over lots of different dashboards and you can even use actions to dynamically change what's being displayed. Now this page here of course isn't you know one that you would share with people directly. Uh, you could just go directly to Google News and get a better UI for that. But the point of this is that this will fit nicely inside of a dashboard. So let's go do that now. I'm going to jump over to Tableau, and I've opened up the finance dashboard that comes with uh, Tableau. It's one of their samples. Um, so if you were just starting from scratch, down on the bottom, you'd see a button that says finance and have a little picture of some bubbles. And what I want to do in this case is I want to add something off to the right here of this uh, trend, which shows news for whatever company I'm currently looking at. So in order to do that, uh, first I need to take it out of presentation mode. And for now, I'm going to change this to automatic so it'll resize. I'm going to drag a web page object on just to the right of my trend. And the URL I'm going to give it is the one from my local host. I'm going to go back. I'm going to paste this in. 
And for now, it's just going to be defaulted to Tableau. Click OK. And there you go. Now I'm actually going to scrunch this down a little bit. You see I get a scroll bar. The CSS fits nicely, so it'll be formatted for basically whatever size page you have. And remember, I can change the number of items being displayed if I didn't want to have a scroll bar. Okay, so that's step one. I basically embedded it statically for, in this case, using the query of Tableau software. Now what I want to do is have my chart on the left pass in the company name that I'm looking for news from. So I'm going to do that by creating an action, going dashboard, actions, I'm going to say add action. Now I'm going to add a URL action, which normally would give you the option to go link to another page. But when you have a web page object on your dashboard, what happens is when you click on that, that action actually just opens that URL in that web page object. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to punch in this URL here, which is the full URL. And where it said Tableau software, I'm actually going to delete that. And I'm going to click on my little arrow here and insert company name. Down below, I'm going to say URL and code data values. That's important because company names can often have things uh, like TM or you know some other kind of Unicode characters or ASCII characters uh, that uh, wouldn't work well or natively be handled by your browser. So if you URL and code them, Tableau will convert them to a nice URL-friendly format. I'm going to make sure that it works for both of my uh, sheets here. So if I click on either one of them, and I'm going to change it to select. So as soon as you click on it, it does the update. I'm going to click OK and click OK. Now when I hover over one of these national instruments, if I click on this guy, see what it does to the right? It's now updated my news feed for national instruments. If I click off of it, it's going to leave it. And that's important because you, you don't necessarily want it to spin back just because you clicked off of it. You could if you'd like, but you know, personally I think it's a better user experience if you just leave it. That way it's not spinning constantly. If I wanted to click on one of the ones on the bottom, like Autodesk, you can see I can do that there. And if we check a couple more of these, looks good. So as we click on these, you see that it's passing in the URL for this to pull up news for that company. Now the last thing I want to do is add a title on here. And the title should tell me what company I'm looking at. Because right now, I mean, I guess I can discern that from looking at the actual posts, but I just want it to be displayed nicely for me. And that isn't as easy as it sounds. Because usually what you think is, oh, I'm just going to add a piece of text up there. But text can't use the company name coming from that other chart. So what I actually have to do is create a new sheet and use that. So let me create a new sheet. I'm going to call this title-news. And this is a thing that you, as you get more advanced with Tableau, you'll find yourself doing a lot of is using sheets as titles and headers uh, because they can be more dynamically controlled. And now that we're in Tableau 8, one thing that's kind of nice is I don't really have to worry about um, creating a calculated field for the title. I can literally just drag this onto text, click on here, I'm going to go edit my label, and I'm going to say News 4. I'm going to format this. Something like that. And it looks uh, kind of berserk right now, but don't worry about that. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go back, add this to our dashboard, filter it, and then it won't be as a, much of a problem. I could add a rank function or do something more stuff to make it, but we know that we're going to publish it with it already filtered, so let's just do this. So I'm going to go to Format, get rid of these lines. And let me go back to my actions. I'm just going to make sure that the filter is actually being passed over to that sheet. So if I click on top IPO as one, it's going to filter all of these. Okay, that's good. What I actually want it to do, see this is going to show all values. I'm going to uncheck title news here. And this time I'm going to add a separate filter called title news filter. So if I click on either one of these, it's going to pass the name over to my title. I'm going to say do this on select, but leave the filter when you deselect it. Click OK, click OK. So now if I hit this guy here, you can see it updated that. This guy's getting uh, quite large here, so I'm actually going to say fit entire view and then shrink it down. There we go. It looks like the highlight was also on, so I'm going to turn that off. 
don't necessarily want this to be highlighted when you click on it. So if I uncheck it, now let's go find another one. Let's take a look at Novell. There you go. So now you can see what's happening. You know, I've, I've embedded Google News uh, and I'm using a web page object. I defaulted it and then I set up an action that passes in the company name to pull the news for, as well as I've set up a uh, title that's dynamic because it's basically just another sheet which is getting filtered to whatever uh, whatever company I click on. So there you go. Uh, that's the way I recommend to embed Google News into your Tableau dashboard. And remember the concept of setting up the web server gives you a whole new world of functionality where you can do things like embed the latest tweets or any other pages that you may desire to have embedded into your dashboards. Thanks for taking the time and good luck dashboarding.